in the classroom. Children, we are going to have a drawing competition tomorrow. Each one of you will have to select a shape and you will have to draw things of that shape. Whoever draws the best will win a prize. All the children were very excited. I'm going to draw things that are square. And I'm going to draw things that are rectangles. The things I draw will be ovals. Choo Choo was very confused. She wondered which shape she should choose. Hmm. Chiku's going to draw square things. Chika's going to draw rectangular ones. And Kusli's drawing will have ovals. Which shape should I choose? Hmm. When Choo Choo went home, she told her mother about the drawing competition. Mom, there's a drawing competition tomorrow. I have to draw things that are a certain shape. Which shape should I choose? Choo Choo's mother was very helpful. She helped Choo Choo problem solve. Choo Choo, why don't you take a look around? and see what shapes you notice in the world around you. Then you can start drawing whatever you like best. Good idea, Mom. So Choo Choo started to look around. Hmm, the TV is a rectangle. The rug is a square. The watermelon on the table is round. I know what I'll draw. I'll draw a round watermelon. Choo Choo, can you think of other things that are round and interesting to look at? Come on, put on your thinking cap and try to figure out what they are. You can draw some of them. Choo Choo thought about it and soon many round things came to mind. The sun is round, the moon is round. Cakes and pizzas are round, too. The wheels on the school bus and Daddy's car are round, too. A baby's face is nice and round. The balloons we love to play with and the ice cream scoops we love to eat are round, too. Choo Choo decided to draw some of these things for the drawing competition. Then, Choo Choo's mother had another idea for her. Choo Choo, instead of drawing the round things by themselves, why don't you draw a picture that has a number of the round things in it? Huh? A picture that has many round things? Yes, Choo Choo, tell me. Where would you see a round cake, round balloons, a round pizza, a happy round-faced baby, and round scoops of delicious ice cream? I know! At a birthday party! The next day, at the drawing competition, Choo Choo drew a picture of a birthday party that had many round things. Round balloons! A round birthday cake! Round scoops of ice cream. Round wheels on a tricycle. A baby with a happy round face. A round pizza for everyone to share. And a round sun that's shining in the sky. Miss Dorothy and the judges were very impressed with Choo Choo's drawing. All of you have drawn pictures of things that are the shapes you have chosen. And you have drawn them very nicely. But Choo Choo has put all her round shaped things in a birthday party scene. Miss Dorothy then announced the winner. Children, you have all drawn beautifully. 
But Choo Choo has used her imagination and put all the round things she chose in a birthday party scene. And so, the judges have decided to give Choo Choo the prize. Well done, Choo Choo! Choo Choo's prize turned out to be a box of round chocolates. Mom, I'm going to share my prize with you. After all, it was you who helped me think and use my imagination. Choo Choo was happy to share the chocolates with her mother. And she felt lucky that her mother had taught her how to use her imagination. Cusley was a rude little boy. He never respected his friends, he always put them down, and was rude to them. <laughs> we won the game because of me! You did nothing! Huh? Cusley's teacher, Miss Dorothy, noticed this. She decided to teach Cusley a lesson so that he would learn how to respect his friends. Hmm. One day, during story time, Miss Dorothy asked the class to sit down. Today, I'm going to tell you a story. A story about a flower named Pinky Petunia. Pinky Petunia was a proud flower. She was very rude to everyone and thought about no one but herself. I'm the prettiest flower in the garden. There's no one prettier than me. Pinky always put her friends down. Hey, butterfly, you are of no use to this garden. You really aren't. Huh? Pinky, please don't be so rude. Everyone is useful in one way or the other. Well, you aren't, so stop bothering me. Pinky's rude behavior upset everyone in the garden. So the parts of the flower decided to teach her a lesson. Pinky is always rude to us. We should stop helping her. Maybe then she'll recognize our value. Good idea. Pinky will not be able to bloom without our help. So, the parts of the flower decided to stop helping Pinky. The next day, the roots didn't hold Pinky's stem. Pinky's leaves didn't make any food. And her petals didn't blossom. Pinky was terrified. Oh no! What's happening to me? Why am I so hungry? Why can't I stand straight? Why am I drooping? Because everyone stopped helping Pinky, she started to wither. That's why I can't stand tall or bloom. Oh, I shouldn't have been so proud. Hmm, I shouldn't have been so rude to everyone. All of you, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Pinky finally understood that she only looked beautiful because of the other's help. And once she admitted her mistake, the other flower parts helped her blossom and look pretty again. So, that's how Pinky Petunia learned the importance of teamwork. Right! Pinky Petunia did well because of her team! Uh, I don't think I'd like to be like Pinky Petunia. I don't want my friends to stop helping me. I understand that each and every one of us is important. 
Hustly finally understood that everyone is important and that teamwork always helps us win. It was a bright and sunny day. Choo Choo and her friends were at school. At noon, the school bell rang, reminding the children that it was time for lunch. Hooray! It's lunchtime! I'm really hungry. Let's go eat. All of the children headed to the school cafeteria with their lunch boxes. Cusley was already there, and he had opened his lunch box. His mother had given him a bunch of juicy grapes and a peanut butter sandwich. But Cusley was more interested in seeing what everyone else had in their lunch boxes. Chica has spaghetti in his lunch box. So does Chiku. Mmm. But Choo Choo's lunch looks the best. She has cheese pizza. And it looks yummy. Cheese pizza was Custly's favorite. When Choo Choo noticed Custly looking at her pizza, she immediately offered him a slice. Custly, would you like a slice of my pizza? Yes, Choo Choo. Thank you. Custly grabbed the biggest slice of Choo Choo's pizza and gobbled it down. Mmm! This pizza is delicious! In fact, it's the best pizza I've ever eaten! Your mother is a very good cook, Choo Choo. After some time, Choo Choo got up to get some water. I'll be right back, friends. Just as Choo Choo left the table, Custly looked at the pizza again. This pizza is so good. I really want to eat it all. Choo Choo's mother must have some more pizza for her at home. Greed overcame Custly, and he picked up the pizza box and started to run. Custly was running so fast that he didn't pay attention to where he was going. He then bumped into a chair fell on the floor and spilled the pizza everywhere. Ouch! Yikes! Choo Choo was shocked by Custly's bad behavior, but she still helped him get up. I hope you're not hurt, Custly. I'm not, Choo Choo. But you must be very angry with me for taking your pizza. I'm really sorry. I just couldn't help myself. The pizza was too delicious. Custly had made a terrible choice when he took Choo Choo's pizza. But she still smiled at him. I'm glad you like my mom's pizza, Custly. I'll ask her to make two pizzas for lunch tomorrow. And I'll ask her to make a big one especially for you. That way, you can have a whole pizza for yourself. And I won't have to worry about you running away with my lunch. Custly was ashamed of the way he had behaved. And he was grateful that Choo Choo had forgiven him for his mistake. To thank Choo Choo, he shared his grapes and sandwich with her. Choo Choo, would you like to share my lunch? Thank you, Cusley. Cusley and Choo Choo ate together with all their friends. And Cusley never stole anyone's lunch ever again. One day, Choo Choo's teacher, Miss Dorothy, came to class with a big box. Choo Choo and her friends were very curious to know what was inside. Children, we are going to play a game today. It's called The Sensory Journey. I am going to have you feel some of the different things 
inside this box. Then you must tell me how they feel. Let's get started. Miss Dorothy pulled out a teddy bear from the box. Choo Choo, why don't you touch this teddy bear and tell me how it feels? This teddy bear feels soft, Miss Dorothy. It does feel soft, Choo Choo. Teddy bears have soft textures. Can you think of anything else that feels soft? Um, hmm, baby blankets are soft. Yes, baby blankets are soft. Miss Dorothy then asked Cha-Cha to pull something out of the box. It's a rock, Miss Dorothy! How does the rock feel, Cha-Cha? It feels hard! The rock does feel hard, Cha-Cha. Its texture is hard. Can you think of anything else that feels hard? Feels very hard. Yes, baseball bats do feel hard, Cha Cha. Miss Dorothy then asked Chica to pull something out of the box. I've got a sheet of paper. It feels smooth. Yes, Chica, paper feels smooth. Its texture is smooth. Can you think of anything else that feels smooth, Chica? Pebbles and marbles. They're both very smooth. Miss Dorothy then asked Chiku to pull out something from the box. Look, it's a twig. And it feels rough. Yes. Twigs feel rough, Chiku. Its texture is rough. Can you think of anything else that feels rough, Chiku? Sandpaper is rough, Miss Dorothy. Sandpaper is certainly rough, Chiku. It was Cusley's turn. He pulled out some bubble wrap. I've pulled out some bubble wrap. And it feels very bumpy. It does feel bumpy, doesn't it, Cusley? Its texture is bumpy. Can you think of anything else that feels bumpy? The sole of my shoe is bumpy. That's correct. Miss Dorothy then asked Choo Choo to pull something out of the box again. Look! I pulled out a ball of cotton. It feels very fluffy. Cotton is fluffy, Choo Choo. Can you think of something else that's fluffy? Cotton candy. It's very fluffy. Chiku came to the box again. She pulled out a banana peel. This banana peel feels slippery. Just like soap does. You are right, Chiku. Both soap and banana peels have slippery textures. Chica came up to play the game again. He pulled out a marshmallow. This marshmallow feels squishy. And so does Play-Doh. That's right! Marshmallows and Play-Doh both have a squishy texture. There was something left in the box. Cusley pulled it out. It's sugar! And it feels grainy, just like sand. That's right, Cusley. Sand and sugar both have a grainy texture. All the children enjoyed playing the new game. And Miss Dorothy felt...
felt happy that they had fun while learning different textures. Cha Cha was a fussy eater. He always complained when asked to eat fruits and vegetables, and he always said no when his mother tried to give him healthy food. <laughs> Ew! I don't like carrots and spinach. No, I don't want apples. No bananas or oranges for me either. One day, Miss Dorothy, Cha Cha's teacher, made an announcement in the classroom. Children, I have some good news for you. We are organizing a fitness day at our school next month. There will be lots of different activities, and it will be a lot of fun. If you compete, you could win prizes. We'll start practicing tomorrow. Cha Cha was very excited about the fitness day. He liked to run races and win prizes. I'm going to compete in all of the activities, and I'm going to run super fast. The very next day, Miss Dorothy started helping the children practice for the upcoming fitness day. Ready, set, go! Cha Cha's friends ran very quickly, but Cha Cha felt tired and couldn't run very fast. Cha Cha felt quite sad when he realized that he was much slower than the other children. He slumped down quietly in the shade of a tree. Miss Dorothy saw Cha Cha sitting by himself. Cha Cha, are you upset because you haven't been running as fast as your friends? That's right, Miss Dorothy. I want to run faster, but I just can't. Cha Cha, if you want to run faster, you must take better care of your body. To be healthier, you must eat plenty of fresh fruits and vegetables. Once you start eating better, I'm sure you'll be able to run very fast and probably win some prizes too. Huh? Really, Miss Dorothy? Yes, Cha Cha. When Cha Cha got home from school that evening, he surprised his mother by asking for fruits and vegetables. Hi, Mom. I like to eat some fresh fruits and vegetables. <gasps> really, Cha Cha? Yes. Miss Dorothy says they will make me healthier and run faster. I think Miss Dorothy is right, Cha Cha. Cha Cha began eating fruits and vegetables without making a fuss. Mmm, these carrots are yummy. May I have some more spinach? I'd like a banana with my lunch, please. And some apples and oranges too. After a few days, Cha Cha found that he could run much faster than before, and without being tired. Yay! When fitness day arrived, Cha Cha felt strong enough to run all the races. Ready, set. 
Cha-Cha came first in many of the races, and he won lots of prizes. Hooray! I'm a winner today! I had the strength to run fast and win all these prizes. Thanks to Miss Dorothy. She's the one who told me that eating fresh fruits and vegetables would make me healthy. Thank you, Miss Dorothy. Thank you. Miss Dorothy had taught Cha-Cha a valuable lesson. <laughs> eating plenty of fresh fruits and vegetables certainly does make one healthier. Cusley was disorganized. He never put any of his things in their correct places. He generally made lots of messes and often misplaced things. Mom! I can't find my crayons! You need to find them or I'll be late for school! Oh, Cusley, your crayons must be somewhere in this mess. I wish you would take better care of your things. Cusley's mother wanted to help him get organized, so she bought him some boxes. You can keep your things in these boxes. I've put labels on them so you know what to put where. If you keep your things in these boxes, you'll have no trouble finding them later. But Cusley didn't listen to his mother. He continued to throw things all over the house, which made the house very messy and sometimes even caused accidents. Ew! Ow! Cusley, dear, I really wish she would learn to clean up. It would save us all a lot of trouble. One day, Cusley received an invitation to a costume party. He begged his mother to buy him his favorite superhero costume for the party. <laughs> I'll be the coolest superhero at the party. But like always, Cusley set the costume aside somewhere in the mess. On the day of the party, Cusley couldn't find his costume anywhere. Mom, where is my superhero costume? I can't remember where I left it. Cusley looked all over his bedroom. He couldn't find the superhero costume anywhere. Oh, where is my costume? It was almost time for the party to begin. And Cusley still had not found his costume. Boo hoo hoo! I can't find my costume. I won't be able to go to the party with my friends now. Don't cry, Cusley. I'll help you look for your costume. But only if you promise to take better care of your things from now on. Cusley's mother helped him look for the costume. And after a lot of digging through piles of stuff, they finally found it under the bed. Here's your costume, Cusley. It was right here the whole time. Huh? Cusley quickly put the costume on and rushed to the party. He was a little late and he missed some of the activities, but he was glad he found his costume and still made it to the party. Later that day, Cusley finished cleaning his room. He put everything away in the proper place. Cusley then thanked his mother. Thanks 
for helping me find my costume, Mom. I know it was a real pain. From now on, I'm going to put all my things away in their correct places. Thank you, Cusley. Cusley just did as he promised. And he never had any trouble finding things again. One morning, while walking to school, Choo Choo spotted a seed on the ground. Ah, a seed! I must take it to school and show it to Miss Dorothy. Miss Dorothy, Choo Choo's teacher, was happy to see the seed. I'm glad you brought this seed, Choo Choo. Today, I'm going to show you and all of your friends how we grow plants. Miss Dorothy got some seeds and handed them out to the children. She also handed each child a pot with their name written on the side. These pots have our names on them. And they're full of soil. Miss Dorothy said that we should plant our seeds in these pots. All the children poked small holes in the soil and placed the seeds inside. Miss Dorothy then took all the children out to the garden. We'll leave the pots here in the fresh air and sunlight. And we'll water them every day. Plants need fresh air, water, and sunlight to grow. The children water their pots every day and place them where they would get plenty of fresh air and sunshine. Every morning, Choo Choo and the other children would run to see their pots and they would lovingly water their seeds. When will the plants grow, Miss Dorothy? Soon, Choo Choo. The fresh air, water, sunlight, and your loving care will turn your seeds into beautiful plants soon. In a few days, plants were sprouting in almost all the pots. Yay! Look, my seed has grown into a plant. So has mine! But in Choo Choo's pot, there was nothing growing. Pot, Miss Dorothy. My seed is still just a seed. Don't worry, Choo Choo. You must be patient and not give up. You must continue to water your pot and give it fresh air, sunshine, and your love. So, Choo Choo did just what Miss Dorothy told her to. She watered and loved the seed in the pot every day. Take care of yourself. I'll be back after the weekend. See you on Monday. Goodbye. On Monday morning, when Choo Choo returned to school, she was delighted to see a beautiful plant growing in her pot. Miss Dorothy! Chica! Chiku! Look! My seed has grown into a plant! Hooray! Well done, Choo Choo! Your plant has grown beautifully! And it's all because you didn't give up! Remember, Choo Choo! You must always be patient and never ever give up! Choo Choo was very happy to see her plant growing so beautifully. 
she was glad that she had been patient. We must always be patient. And we must never ever give up. Never ever. Tika was always in a rush. He brushed in a rush. He took a bath in a rush. He dressed in a rush. He ate in a rush. Chica rushed with everything. Which was why he often didn't get things right and made so many mistakes. Come on, Chiku. I'm ready to go to school. Wait, Chica. You're not wearing shoes. And what about your milk? Please be more patient so you can get things right the first time. Huh? One day, Chica's teacher, Miss Dorothy, made an announcement. Children, we are having a talent show next week. You all must participate in it. You can dance, sing, recite a poem, or even show everyone how you do judo and karate. But please remember to practice. We'll have a rehearsal later this week to make sure everyone is ready. Ah! Chica was very excited. He had been learning karate and wanted to show everyone his moves. But, as usual, he only practiced a few minutes before the rehearsal. Hiya! 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 That's enough practice. I'm sure I'll do well in the rehearsals. But Chica's mother felt he needed more practice. That's not enough, Chica. You must practice some more. Practice is the only way to be prepared and remember your moves. Aw, oh, Mom! Not now! I want to play now! Chica didn't listen to his mother. He was sure that he had practiced enough. On the day of the rehearsal, all the children performed very well. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Next, it was Chica's turn. But when he went on the stage, he found that he had forgotten all his moves. Forgotten my moves. Chica felt terrible. He sat in a corner all by himself. Oh, why couldn't I remember my moves? Miss Dorothy noticed Chica. She sat down next to him. Chica, I don't think you practiced enough. It's very difficult to remember things if you don't practice. But if you do, you not only will remember your moves, but you'll shine in all that you do. Is that true, Miss Dorothy? Yes, Chica. Now listen, there are still a few days before the talent show. If you take your time and practice every day, you'll be ready to shine on performance day. Okay, Miss Dorothy, I'll do it. Chica practiced every day until the day of the talent show. He stayed focused on practice and didn't get distracted. Chica, I'm going to play. Are you coming along? No, Chiku. I'm practicing. Soon, it was the day of the talent show. Rain, rain. When it was Chica's turn, 
He went on to the stage. And he gave an outstanding performance. Everyone liked Chica's performance. And Chica even won a prize. That was an outstanding performance, Chica. Well done. I'm sure you practiced a lot. Thank you. From that day onwards, Chica always practiced. He also made sure to take his time and not get distracted. And that made Chica shine in all that he did. Hiya! 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 It was a bright and pleasant morning. Choo Choo, Cha Cha, Chica, and Chiku were watering plants in the garden. I hope you are enjoying yourselves, flowers. You all are so pretty. There were many flowers in the garden. They all looked very happy. <laughs> <laughs> but there was one little flower, a white flower, who didn't seem at all happy. <laughs> Bubbly was a butterfly who lived in the garden. She had a very kind heart. She noticed the white flower and went to talk to it. Hello, little flower. Why are you so sad when everyone else is so happy? Didn't you enjoy the shower and the sunshine? Oh, Bubbly, I'm sad because I'm playing. The other flowers in the garden are colorful and pretty. But I'm white and plain. Huh? Bubbly began to wonder what she could do to make the little white flower happy. The poor little flower. She's feeling so sad. I wish I could do something to make her smile and make her feel happy. But what can I do? Suddenly, Bubbly had an idea. Hmm, I know. I'll make the white flower the most colorful flower in the garden. I'll color her petals with all the colors of the rainbow. I'm sure my friends in the garden will help me and share their colors. So, Bubbly went around the garden looking for the colors of the rainbow. Hmm, there's red. There's orange. Indigo and violet. Aha! Uh -huh. All the colors of the rainbow are right here in the garden. Bubbly then politely asked everyone to share their colors. Red Rose, you are pretty, soft, and light. Orange Sun, you shine with such great might. Yellow Sunflower, you are beautiful and bright. Green leaves, you've got shades of dark and light. Bluebell, you are a dazzling delight. Indigo flower, you seem to glow even at night. Violet flower, you are such a pretty sight. But the little white flower doesn't 
like her sight. She thinks she's too plain and white. If you lend her a little bit of color, she'll be a lovely smiling flower. Sure, sure, sure! It would be our pleasure to share our color. Take any measure. We'll spray with pressure. And make the little flower feel fresher. And as precious as a treasure. Hooray! I'm so happy. I'm no longer white and plain. I have all the colors of the rainbow now. I'm a rainbow. Because of you, flowers and leaves, thank you for all the beautiful colors you've given me. And bubbly, you are a true friend. I'm a bright, colorful rainbow flower. All because of you. Thank you. We are your friends, rainbow flower. And what are friends for? The little flower was now a bright, smiling, happy, and colorful rainbow flower. Choo Choo and all the other children were very happy to see her. Oh, look at that flower. She has all the colors of the rainbow. She must be a rainbow flower. Isn't she pretty? 